The last two natures I want to talk about for the Tall Tales RPG are anchors and warlocks. Now, anchors and warlocks are physical natures, and like most of the physical natures, they are in some way human. Really, they are human in almost every respect. The only thing is that they are so closely in tune with their metaphysical self and their physical self that they act as direct conduits to open or close the passage of magic between realms. Now, they get described a couple different ways in Tall Tales. Uh, one of the ways is by a book that Henry has where he talks about them as gates, whether they are open gates or closed gates. Uh, the system calls them anchors and warlocks. Madison himself calls himself an anchor. And, you know, there's different other kind of approaches to it. But basically what they are is they are human beings who are descended, very closely descended from a Nephil. So they have to have a Nephil in their bloodline fairly recently. In the case of Madison, it's his grandfather. Their tie to the metaphysical realm means that they have direct impact on the flow of magical energy between the metaphysical realm and the physical realm. Anchors stop the flow of that energy. They are walking sources of anti-magic. They are immune to a magical effects at that target them. They can prevent magic from happening around them. They have a certain aura around them where magic is much more difficult to cast in their presence, and they can actively counterspell or banish things. And those are the only really magical effects they can ever do. They cannot learn magic. They're completely incapable of casting it, um, except for banishment or counterspelling. Warlocks, on the other hand, make magic casting easier. They draw magical energy to themselves. And so if you're standing close to a warlock, you get a boost to trying to cast magic. And they have access to a very powerful magic that they can cast. They also can kind of empower other people around them to cast more powerful magic. So they amplify magic in area, anchors dampen magic in area. Now, these are fundamental aspects of the Tall Tale setting. And so it has to be included in the system because obviously one of the main characters is an anchor and that shapes a lot of the story. But anchors and warlocks are described in Tall Tales as being very rare. The only other anchor that anyone ever talks about is a guy named Lysander who died like 200 years before the story takes place. So they're rare, but for game terms, they're also kind of broken. Like this mechanic of amplifying or stifling magic is a broken mechanic. Like it is a mechanic that alters the shift of the game. And it's very difficult to balance them with the other natures because the what they do is inherently very powerful uh, and alters the landscape of the game itself. And so this is why I include them separately is because they are written in the book as a thing that exists, that can be introduced, but that narrators should be very careful about whether or not they allow player characters to use them. Because the fact is, if you have somebody in your party who's an anchor, and you have a bunch of other people who are not, then the party is not balanced. And you really need to kind of be ready to deal with that, either by you know trying to introduce some amount of balance, or by having a party that you know can handle that imbalance and still be okay, and make sure that the player that ha is playing the anchor is someone that you can trust to actually handle that imbalance in a good way. Frankly, I don't think the majority of players for any game that exists, uh, and certainly not any game that I've ever played, I don't think the majority of players should be trusted with that kind of imbalance. And so it is listed as an optional. They are optional natures that are available if the narrator chooses to include them. And if they do choose to include them, there's rules in there for how to do that. So including them is risky, but possible. And so, you know, they're going to be included in there. They are technically player available natures. And so that's why I'm kind of introducing them as such. Uh, but they are separate because they are unique. And if you would like to know more about them or more about Madison, at least, as an anchor, I would encourage you to check out the story at talltalesuf.com or you can buy the books there or at Amazon. Uh, Tall Tales Volumes 1 and 2 are available. You can also keep an eye out on this channel where I'll be talking more about the development of the game and live streaming on Twitch and saving those videos on YouTube where you can watch as the game is getting developed and getting written and I'm talking through some of the logic on how I'm doing it and, and working out some kinks in the system. So thanks for checking this out. Hope you continue to check stuff out and I will see you next time.